This is going to be a recording of a Macintosh SE30 booting off of what's called a ROS SCSI. It's basically an attachment for a Raspberry Pi that uh, allows it to emulate a hard drive. These older Macs um, especially had old hard drives that uh, don't work so well anymore. Some of them don't, some of them do. Um, a lot of them are on their last legs, so a lot of creative people are coming up with ways to get hard drives, um, you know, newer style hard drives into these computers. There's, you know, a lot of different options you can choose from, thankfully. Um, one of the newer options is this Roscuzzy created by a few cool people on the 68K MLA forums. Um, they've done a really good job, in my opinion. So, um, excuse the mess, I've been working on this for a while today. Um, what I actually did is I put a Roscuzzy inside my SE30. Um, so it is booting off of the internal SCSI bus. It's powered by a, via the Molex connector. Um, and I guess now let's show it off. Um, this should be a decent demonstration of how it works. So here we go. Excuse the line on the screen, that is my camera, unfortunately it cannot be adjusted to be absolutely perfect for a CRT. But I have tried my best. This is, um, my SE30 has a Mac Rominator 2 installed, as you can tell. Um, so it does boot a little slower than normal, it also has max RAM, so that tends to slow things down a little bit. Now this is normal um, if you've got one of these Raskezis in there as the Raspberry Pi actually has to boot and now it's booting the system. And as you can tell, we are now about to be inside Mac OS. This is Mac OS, um, I believe 7 point, yeah, 7.5.5, um, system 7.5.5, however you want to say it. Um, but yeah, we have a fully working hard drive in here. Um, two gigabytes, obviously it can be whichever you want. Uh, you know, however big you want it to be, as big as your SD card can handle, I suppose. Um, when you hear it about this Mac, you can see it's it doesn't really say anything except for how much RAM I have. But um, yeah, this is a really cool option if you're looking for something to... Um, use for your old Macintoshes. This is a great option. Um, especially good if you're planning on just using it for an, as an external hard drive. It's great for that. Um, but as I've demonstrated here today, you can use it as an internal drive if you really want to. So yeah. Um, anyway, uh, thanks for watching. I will leave a link in the description if you'd like to purchase one of these yourself. Um, if you want to, I would recommend jumping on it quick as they tend to sell out. So yeah, but uh, anyway, we'll see you later.